Hey, thank you for joining me on the fourth season of The Best Coach. It's going to ramp up a little bit more, be a little bit more intense. So parental advisory is a warning. I'm only saying it as a positive, but we have to talk about some real issues. And so without no further ado, The Best Coach. Hey, just be, be careful about people. This is the best coach. Uh, be careful. <clears throat> um, everybody, they, they just don't have your best interests in mind. They don't. They don't. So some of them are standing really close in your circle, right next to you. I would like to say an enemy was always somebody far away. Right next to you. So I asked myself, in a football season, what does it take for one team to get through all of this shit and win a championship. Their student athletes have to go through stuff too, right? They have a mother, a father. They have issues possibly with school. What does it take to win a championship? And why is it that it seems like the people around you are not cheering for you? You would cheer for them, but what are they doing? It ain't nothing to cheer for. Tell them I'm gonna cheer for you in your nothing there's nothing to cheer for and this social media stuff people sending you messages quotes and slogans they on the sneak tip trying to dish you or you know be disrespectful and rude and they're trying to do it in an underhanded fashion so watch out for that and if you're one of those people I'm talking to you I think you should stop, but that's almost like trying to tell you to do something that goes against your psyche or what you believe in. You can't. A lot of childish behavior. Everybody's not cheering for you. Everybody don't want you to be successful because you will leave them. So they feel. And you might. Because the demand for being successful is very high. Also, being successful, you probably will have to relocate. And most people in some environments, only some, not all, they are spooked at the idea of relocating. Moving is almost like some kind of a spiritual seance or something like that. It's like a taboo. They don't want to do it. Some relationships, the other person don't want to move. And they don't want you to leave them. So now what do you do? You get drafted by the Dallas Cowboys and the person you in a relationship with, they don't want to go. And they secretly don't want you to go. Some of y'all might be blurting out right now, oh man, we'll just leave them, I'll just leave them, I'll just leave them. 
But it's unfortunate that they will end up cheering or have been cheering for your failure. So if you don't get drafted, if you don't make it to the National Football League, if you don't get a scholarship offer to go to college, if you don't play college football, if you hurt your knee in 11th grade in your junior season and you don't play anymore, some people are happy about that. They're downright enthusiastic because misery loves company and they want you to fail like them. If you ask them if they fell, and they're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you no. Each individual is trying to do the best they can, I believe, with the might and strength that they have to produce something that creates a level of success, hopefully for themselves and the people they love, and lastly, you know, their community. The community that they came from and the community that they live in. People start pulling and tugging on your strings and straps, asking for money. Can I get some money? Can I get some money? And if you do happen to be one of the ones fortunate enough to make it on these levels, they pissed at you for disappearing. How dare you accept a scholarship offer at Arizona State? Does that mean you gotta play in Arizona State? They think you can play in the backyard of the hood every game or in a little suburban environment or in a country territory. You live in some kind of an apartment complex, they think you can play the college games on the grass down on the first floor. They don't want you to leave, man. So they're secretly cheering against you. If you learn this or you find out, you can become angry and here's where the violence can kick in. And you can hurt somebody. And it could be fatal. Which again, circles back to leading to incarceration or the cemetery. Having to scrap football and get rid of football is the desire that everybody wanted anyway. How many people do you really, really believe are cheering for you to be successful? Some of y'all that uh, are optimistic are choosing to say, my mother, my father, my uncle, my cousin, my siblings, my relatives, everybody on my street, all my teachers, all my classmates, all my teammates. Do you think that many people are cheering for you to make it? What about them? How many of those people that you just named, how many of them want you to be successful so you can help somebody help them be uh, with some of the things in their lives? And that might cause that number to be cut down some, right? Because now, people are looking for help. So now, are they cheering for you to be successful so you can help them? Or are they cheering for you to be successful? It's not always crystal clear. But the darkness always comes to the light 
get into a situation where you're successful and it's paying dividends, you'll find out. I'm trying to warn you in the best coach. I'm trying to create a, a scenario for you to feel it now so you don't have to go through it. I don't want you to go through it. I want you to understand what I'm saying. You can hope and wish all you want that what I'm saying is not right. And that could be true. Then you are one of the few that's very fortunate and blessed to have a whole stable, entourage, family, friends, community, um, pipeline or whatever you got, girlfriends, or boyfriends or whatever that are cheering for your success. So now I'm talking to the people who is not happening for. Just be careful. Be careful. We want you to be successful. We want you to have a great career, play football, and live your life on the level you want to live it on. So just watch out for jealous, fearful, snake-like people. Love y'all. This at the south of Maurice, man, my brother, man. You know what I'm saying?